Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Violet. It is two days before Christmas and uh, so tomorrow is Christmas Eve and you can see there's a few different things here on the video. If you're watching the video afterward, um, this one, this will go up after Christmas. So um, just remember this was recorded live while uh, well, it was before Christmas. You can see the snow here on me, uh, up on the logo there. The ghost has morphed into some twinkling Christmas lights that should be, look like they're pretty well set up on the logo. And we've got a nice decorated Christmas tree over there on the right side. Oh. We are pretty well all set up. Um, hopefully the snow doesn't make it uh, too fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, awesome Santa hat on. We are ready to go. I may have to take the Santa hat off here in a little bit because he is doing its job. Um, housekeeping. We do stream these videos live, as I mentioned, and we are over at twitch.tv slash unexpectedlyrandom. We are here Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time, and on Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. Central Time. Um, anytime there's a change to that schedule, we post on Facebook and Instagram, so make sure you're following us here on Twitch, as well as over there on Instagram or Facebook, so we can send you notifications when we go live from Twitch and let you know when there's any updates to or changes to the street schedule. We also have a Twitter and a TikTok if you're on those platforms and wish to follow us. That would be wonderful. And make sure you're following us or you subscribe there on YouTube as well. All kinds of fun stuff for you to do. Anyway, that's all I've got to start this off with. So we're going to get going. I believe last time we left off, um, we just defeated the, um, the final base of Team Star, and we were getting ready to go to the schoolyard at night. <sighs> so we could battle Cassiopeia, or find out who Cassiopeia is. I'm going to go ahead and buy some stuff here while we wait. Hmm, luxury ball. Those are expensive. Uh, okay, well, I want some of these. I don't know, somewhere around $25,000. That'll work. Oh, stop it. No! Go back. I'm... I'm this petty. Oops. We'll reboot. So I can get my free Premiere Balls. It's like in college. You <laughs> can... Go down to one of the restaurants, I think, one of the like quick serve meal places. And if you bought well, two, one or two of an item, you could, you got a free um, Kansas towel or something. No, it was the bookstore that I'm thinking of. Um, and if you, any purchase at the bookstore, you got a free, uh, college towel, um, or not college towel, uh, Red Bull, because they wanted to keep the students ramped up on sugar, I think. Um, and so I'd go through there, and anytime I needed something small, I'd swing through there and, and snag me. I mean, it's like a $2 can of Red Bull. I'm like, hey, this is a pretty good bargain. So, yeah. I uh, ended up with quite a few Red Bulls, and 
they're actually quite useful during during exams. So that was that was great. Wow, that's a lot. Way oh, I guess it's nine hundred and something that. Uh, Eight, three is 32, 24, 24. So yeah, that'll work. And there's my premier ball. And we'll do 10 more. And then we'll do 10, 10 more. gonna do 10 more because I want and that gets me at least the 32 that I was looking at. Sweet. Great ball. We have 20. Let's get a few of these. So yeah, by doing it this way, I got three for my order of Ultra Balls. I got three or four um, because I added more free uh, pre Premier Ball, which seemed to be a lot better in this game than they were in Ruby Sapphire. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Let's get some Hyper Potions. There's no bonuses for buying these in blocks of 10. Uh, Actually, do I have items to sell? In the class of Gormons, oh no! I have, uh... The, the, that was not a good the group of individuals in uh, one of the Fallout games. So it appears all of these are saleable, which is wonderful, because... I'm gonna sell all of those. I'm gonna sell both of those. I'm gonna sell that one. And that one. And all eight of the rare bones. Sell, please. <laughs> I like the receipt. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, yes. Yay, money! <laughs> Sell the experience candies. Funny. Okay, back to buy items. I don't know, I just feel like. Uh, I feel like I might need to have some more of those on hold. Seven burn heal. Let's go ahead and get six of them. That work. And potion we are set. Okay. No, I'm good, thanks. So, oh, there is something in this tree, I bet. See if I can. Maybe there's not something in this tree. Okay, perhaps not. Ooh, that was a. Uh Whatever the evolution of Grievar it is. Something candle, I think. Guessiato Mountain. Energy root. Not the energy root. Boing. I found a mass outbreak of wild Grievar. He's so bad, like cute. Uh, uniform. Aww. 
want to fight? That uniform looks really good on you. Do you think you would look good on me too? Um, no, because it really only seems to fit me. It's going to look funny if there's two of us in it. <laughs> Apparently, I've got a great hard. Oh, there he goes. He's standing at my feet like he's going to fight for me. Backpacker Markle. Yay, uh, Mabo Stiff. 37. Ah, you are in trouble. Fifty percent. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Rough, because it's a. Anyway, we should probably swap out our double dunce bars for uh, a dunce bars egg, maybe. But I'll. Corion is weak to grass. I think I will stick. Poor, poor Vaporeon. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> Weavile is an ice type, but also a dark type. Which means play rough should be a great matchup. Ooh, pressure. The pressure's on. It's all in the new comes right in the back stretch. All on every My tears are holding back there. Try not to fall. Okay, that really has nothing to do with anything that was said. Is that a no? I told you, it would look weird if we were both wearing it. Just saying. Hi, Snover. <laughs> Yay, I don't know what a shiny Grievard looks like, so I'm probably going to walk right by it, and it's not going to be good. Thank you. It's a bronze on. I suppose I could do this. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Also, I forgot Pikachu uh, fainted. And we're gonna switch this. Right. Um, we have an egg in here somewhere. There's one egg. There's a bunch more eggs. I'll take this egg to start with. Da da bars. <laughs> Pin Kirchen. He's electric. Boogie woogie woogie. That's. <laughs> I don't know why, but that just, uh, kind of found that one funny. <laughs> we should probably just do one at a time right now, so the rest of them can level up. Get the snow over. Over here. Yay, Carly, that's the first time I've fought a snowver. Uh -huh, poor snowver. Took his berries.
Wait, what? What? You wouldn't fight it. It's not shiny, but why wouldn't you fight it? Was it too close to the edge or something? That was weird. Sneasel. Can you take on a Sneasel? It appears to be. Go get that, please. Thank you. Hmm, bird knife. <laughs> Meow Skirata saw that Cub Chew coming for me and was like, nope. Not gonna happen. That may have been a little rude. Delibird parcel from a Grievard. This is so much nicer than having to go through and encounter all of these and go through that whole process. It looked like a person over here, but uh, maybe not.
blindsided. Okay. It seems pretty clear that uh, I'm not going to get a shiny out of that. I understand now that training in freezing places isn't efficient. You don't get strong, just sick. Ah, 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 choo! Well, hi, Snowbird. <laughs> Already battled both of them. That's Grievard. It's gonna hatch. Be a shiny death bars, please. <laughs> that would be a nice uh, addition to the team. <laughs> nope. <laughs> He's still a cutie, though. Now this is the place I would expect a uh, cryogonal to be. Paldea's highest peak, one of the ten sites of Paldea. Cool. Yeah, Grievard. There's a bunch of them up here. Yeah, we could take care of it. was standing on the other guard while I battled the first one. <laughs> it's the toddle in the background there. Just being goofy. Jim. Ah, 
I fear a gimme go. Or is that? <laughs> it's the coolest one. <laughs> Yay. Ice Terra Shark. Cool. <laughs> Come on. No. I found you, Gimme Ghoul. You had a huge shadow for being a tiny little thing. Sweat. Okay, let's go ahead and... Well, well we, can, we got enough other one team to take it. We'll leave him in. Then you can level up pretty quick. We can see if he'll be a three, three uh, segment, not star. Hello, hello, Levi. Jack. How's your treasure hunt? Figured out what you're hunting for yet? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I get it. Director Clavel doesn't like questions with easy answers, does he? Many students choose to make the gym circuit a part of their treasure hunt. It's no easy feat, but even making the attempt is a worthwhile experience. That's why I was waiting here, to make sure you know your homeroom teacher's got your back. Ooh, lucky egg! That's extra experience, isn't it? Sweet. This should be handy for your treasure hunt. I hope you'll keep working on that Pokédex of yours, too, since I did make the app at all. That's all for me. Just do your best and keep out of danger, okay? Yeah. Right. No danger for me. Okay, legs are all rested. Should we start out again? You know, Grusha is... Grusha here at the Glaciado Gym. He's as good as the cup. Not just as a snowboarder, as a gym leader, too. Do you like it better outside? I think that's a yes. Okay, uh... <laughs> I'm actually going to give him the lucky egg. And it automatically sorts these, so just do that number. Welcome to the Glaciado Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Levi, yes? No, it's it's just Levi. It's not Levi, yes. Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Grusha, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Glaciado Gym, that means doing the snow slope run. Ride a Pokemon down the designated course and try to reach the goal within the time limit. To start your test, just head off the gym and left the slope to your left. We'll show you in the, on the details there. Now get out there and have fun. Okay. Snow slope run. the gym and head left. It was kind of. Is this the same guy? 
Hey there, I've been waiting for you. This is where the snow slope run starts. The task is to ride a Pokemon all the way down this course. It's like a slippery sliding nature trail. Reach the finish line within the target time and you pass the test. So ready to attempt the gym test by taking on the snow slope run? Okay. Let's get this test started then. Enjoy the winter wonderland on your way down. Oh, and I have to go through the gates, too. And there's a, uh, either a Terra thing or a, uh, item. Well, you know me. We're going to, uh, jet away. how to control this, but I think I'm doing okay. That'll be a penalty. That's probably a penalty, too. It's anything like skiing. Granted, the only thing I know about skiing is uh, what I've seen on during the Olympics. Well, that was easy. I mean, that was mega easy. I like the little tree over there. It's pretty cool. Congratulations on completing the run. That was some of the best sliding I've ever seen. Almost like seeing Grusha in his prime again. Oh, you obviously passed the gym test with flying colors. Go let the receptionist know. Well, there's a Pokemon on this path now. There were some items on this path that I uh, didn't get to collect. Honestly, this is not the same path that I just uh, took. Maybe it is. There were people here too? Three gym badges. Uh, I remember when I first started too. <laughs> Guard of War. Ball. Mm. We lose attack and special attack. No, special attack and special defense. We want to fight. Is everything I do? Well, that's going to wipe you off the map. Hmm. So we're just gonna have to hope that this guy works. That worked. <laughs> there goes Dunsbar leveling away. Yep. Glare, no. Reach, no. Guard of War. It unleashes psychokinetic energy at full power when protecting a trainer has bonded closely to it. Uh, maybe we add Gardevoir to the party. Uh, yeah, we'll swap Pinkerchin out. This was the right path. I just zoomed by that uh, 
these landmarks way faster than I thought I did. What kind of terror raid is this? Shelter? It's a fairy type. I didn't need to back out when he was running through. Uh, take it here. This is a smart and sneaky Pokemon. A pair may work together to steal eggs, having one lure the parents away. Interesting. He's got three gym badges. Did you know that? But I failed the interview at the Pokemon League. Um, that's because you have to have all eight. Markers. I not bought a Pama before. No baby. No Maybe. But we good. So electric's not very effective. We'll try fly. That's all he's cut. Good. I got three gym badges and still got beat by some little kid. Yes. Yes, you did. Okay, we are going back up. Dredo on the ropes. The slopes, Levi. Finish the slow snow. Snake and Fafu Vafuta. You finish the snow slope run. No problem. And you know what that means. You cleared the gym test. Way to go. Now earn the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Do you want to face the Sub Zero Shredder himself? Gym leader Grisha! Yes. <laughs> That's 
It's kind of a funny looking gym leader. Pokemon can't be a Pokemon monster? No way! <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking exactly the same thing. There you are. Burr, I'm freezing. I take your challenger. My name's Brusha. I'm a snowboarder. Used to be pro, actually. Now I'm a gym leader. I saw you on the slopes, your skills. Yeah, they were pretty cool. But don't let that go to your head. Winter mountains are dangerous. They can throw your life off course. Right off course. Easy as that. Same thing with Pokemon battles, really. It's always the most dangerous when you're just starting to get the hang of things. Um, I'm getting the feeling this is supposed to be an early gym. <laughs> Today isn't a great day to face me, you know. You're better off giving up. Okay. You sure you want to battle me? Um, yep. <laughs> Still trying to act cool, huh? That's too bad. Well, this is my job now, so don't take what I'm about to do personally. No worries. I hope, uh, I hope you, uh, look at things the same way. You're ready for the icy bite of reality. You're challenged by gym leader Grusha. Crossma. That's what happens if I allow Snom to evolve. And you see... Well, not that. But the moth isn't, isn't uh, adorable. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so Frost Moth is bug and ice. Probably. So we're gonna fly. Aha! I forgot to look at the levels. Ooh. It must be higher level than I thought it was. Hold the phone. Um, we're not about to be doing that. Level 47. Wow. It's, yeah, it is uh, stronger than I thought it was. Meow Skaratus got this, though. Bertic, 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 definitely Bertic. We will keep the crew. Let's see, pure ice. This is a good guess to. Uh, we'll go dark. Nice hit. It'll be two shot. That might save. That do sting a lot. Well, at least it didn't freeze me. Light should finish this off. Maybe we can switch out to a sponge and heal up Meowstrata. More than the leftovers are doing. Sit tight.
keep Dunsparce alive, so probably let's just send in Garbor. It's another grass type, so it may be weak to whatever's showing up. It's the Titan. Oh, that's the evolution of Satano. Thick fat. What does thick fat do? Oh, it's Gardevoir. Okay. I thought, wow, that's a uh, big, uh, big play. No way I go first. Bye bye. This is a... situation. Oh, I forgot I was in a battle, so I can only use one item at a time. So that's all right. Get that ice spinner and ice shard to took me out so fast. Yeah. We've got enough backup Pokemon that we can Paralysis. Come on. You're really not in charge, Brigitte. Don't listen to what the uh, announcer thing says. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to win this one. 
totally honest. Because there's one more... Now, Dunsparce, if you wanted to tank this, that would be great. Or well, you can just up and tank. That's fine, too. Last one. It's probably a dumb idea, but we're gonna try it. Please work. Since I know what you're doing, <laughs> and then I don't risk not getting something on the other ones that I need to. The problem here is this is going to be the one that they terrestrialize. Surely they're not going to terrestrial this to toddle. You're not just tot, you see. But you're one vault set from sleep fall. Altaria, which is a. Dragon. It's not an ice type. Oh, but it's gonna be an ice terra type. And you're gonna terrestrialize first before attacking me. Yeah. They also like mountains in winter. The situation can change in art. It's confusing, where they're like, oh, this is an ice-type gem, and then, you know, here's a flying or a dragon terra type. But, yeah, it's, uh, got it. I'm done. Ooh. I still feel sad. I think it's going to be good enough. Yes! <sighs> oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm peeking a little bit there. Oh, nice. You melted straight through my ice.
Let's go. It's the title. That burning passion you have. Strive for the future, no matter what challenges you face. Just like how I used to be. Oh, never mind. I should give you your gym badge. Huh? You would have photo together to commemorate your win? That panic. Come on, that's that, that's so uncool. I don't usually do that sort of thing, but okay, fine. Special occasion. <laughs> nice. Sitadel. With six gym badges, you should be able to catch Pokemon up to level 50 more easily. So each one of the gym leaders must have a full set of available dialogue based on where you at, where where you're at in your your gym challenge. It'd be kind of neat to see what the final after you get your last badge, if everybody says the same thing or if each one is something a little flavored differently based on who you defeated. They'll actually listen to you too, which is nice. Oh, and before I forget, you should take this too. Ice spinner, nice. That was a wicked one. The user covers its feet in thin ice and twirls around, slamming into the target. The moves spinning motion also destroys the train. So if you have like a uh, um, misty terrain or whatever, or electric terrain, it'll avoid that. Should be a lot more useful than some silly photo of you and me. There's There's got to be a, a story to, to this. Feel free to stop by again if you don't mind the cold, that is. Well, hello. Come to hassle me again, didn't you? <laughs> Greetings once more, Levi. I was watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say... I thought it was simply excellent! Full marks! Gold star! Extra credit even! Hardly had, had you sent out Pikachu before you launched into your strategy. That unrelenting offensive, that flurry of attacks doesn't realize how scared I was that I was going to lose. What an efficient way to corner the opponent. And what artfully trained Pokemon. Such a vibrant palette of moves. Huh. I do beg your pardon. I didn't mean to let my emotions run amok like that. Ahem. <laughs> In summary, I simply wanted to say that you seem to have got Stevens. I'm sorry. <laughs> I simply wanted to say that you seem to have gotten even stronger. I must admit, I'm eager for you to gather all the gym badges. As a member of the Elite Four, I await the day you come face to face with me with great anticipation. Oh, but one thing, don't let your studies fall by the wayside. Be sure to come to the academy now and then. Good point. We should go to class. And we can also attempt We can also attempt the uh, battle with Cassiopeia. Congratulations, you are now certified by the Glaciado Gem. Yay! That's a large bear. Why can you have your Pokemon in here, but I can't? I want, I want my Pokemon to be out while I'm inside. Double standards. <laughs> and here's a phone call from... Nimona. Yes? No? No call from my biggest fan? I'm disappointed. I, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to tell her off for that. Oops. 
13 health. That's insane. Oh, and speaking of us being here already, Poke Portal, we have do, do mystery gift to collect. Get with a code. It's not gonna run out because it's plugged in. Alright, so if you guys haven't redeemed this code, this code is good through Christmas. Um, through Sunday, I believe. Uh, the 25th. Um, so those of you watching on YouTube, this is already expired. Most likely. By the time you're seeing this. It may not be. If it's after the 25th when this goes up, one, two, yeah, it'll be. So this code's already expired for you guys, but those of you watching live, here's a reminder to redeem this code. It is Happy Holiday, I believe. It might be Holidays. H-A-P, another P, Y, H, zero, because there's no O, and I'm so glad that they blocked these out, because back in the... DS days, you just had to guess which one it getch getch which one it was. And then the I is not available, so we go one holiday. We'll start with holiday. Because that's a miss even set of numbers. And we may need to come back and um do happy holidays. So yeah. This'll be a if it works. Did it work? It did not work. Okay. So it's Happy Holidays. There we go. So code Happy Holidays. If it's not, uh, if it's the 25th or before, make sure you enter this in your game. It'll give you 50 Ice Terra Shards, which is what you use to change your Terra type. Um, in the game for whatever Pokemon. So that's a really, really nice thing. It's the Pokemon Company's way of kind of giving us a Christmas present. So that's pretty sweet. And that's all we've got. Because all the other ones that I was, was trying to do are expired. So we'll go ahead and make sure we're saved here, and then we gotta go up the hill so we can heal, because 13 health is not, uh, well hello, Pokemon League rep, oh, once I defeat 10 in the mountains you'll give me a prize. Heal my Pokemon please. They are in really bad shape. <laughs> also, Dunsparce didn't get any of the extra boosted experience from that. RIP. Thanks for charging. Time to go. There is a gimme ghoul back over here, so I will take your coins. Okay, so... We are two liters short of having all of the liters done. So there's this one over here, which is a grass type. And we actually haven't been to that particular area. It's probably a Interesting place to look into. I'm not sure what these marked uh, dens are. Unless it's still Eevees, but that's a lot of uh, them to be Eevees. So we'll have to check that out. Let's see. Let's go. Alfornado. 
was thinking I'd been there before, but it doesn't look like it. Let's, let's go to the academy and see about Cassiopeia and maybe um, something else. But first, I hope it doesn't load anything when we get in here. Oh, actually, I can stop it. There we go. Um, but first, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. We'll continue the stream. Um, those of you watching on YouTube, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel so we can get you more content like this as well as other content that we produce. Um, let us know in the comments what your favorite part of this video was. Um, I do want to remind you that we stream these videos over on twitch.tv slash unexpectedly random Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. Central Time. Um, when there are changes to that schedule, we post them on our Facebook and Instagram, so make sure you follow us over there. And while you're visiting on Twitch, uh, drop a follow there as well, and we will send you a notification next time we go live. We also have a TikTok and a Twitter if you're on those platforms and wish to follow us. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys. We will catch you in the next one. Until then, stay random.